Good morning everybody, welcome back to Valley Spring on this beautiful May morning. I've just been giving the outside walls a little bit of a jet wash off. Look very nice. I haven't got to the bottom yet, obviously. <laughs> but the top looks nice. Anyway, a little bit of a progress report. See where we're at. So the sorghum isn't ready. Um... Now, going back to, because I've done a little bit of work off camera, we just run along the wall. So the cornfield up there, it's come through actually, which is nice by the look of it. We'll go and check that out in a second. After we finished the previous episode, I carried on obviously planting the corn. I then rolled the field and then I sprayed herbicide down because going back to what I've said before, I know some of you guys weren't too sure yourself. I was obviously reading a lot of comments and seeing people suggesting that, or not suggesting, saying that you should spray herbicides immediately after planting your crops because you'll lose yield otherwise. Now, with the sorghum field, we did spray weeds when they came through. This has been mulched, it's been fertilised twice. So if we go in, we've got 100% down there bottom right. If we start moving around in the field, it does start dropping here and there. So 96 at one point. And I think that's going to be where the weeds were. So it doesn't sound a lot, but when you go sort of like across the sort of board with a what am i trying to say with a decent sized field you know at the end of the day you are going to lose a fair bit i would have thought but there we go so that's what we have done jump back over i don't remember buying that car anyway right um oh look at this we have some bigger sheep Wow, they're no longer lambs. Wow, we've got a ram. I better not get too close to him. He might butt me. That's awesome. Happy days. Right, so what's going on with the rest of the animals? Um, probably still not a lot of wool. No, so that's going to be a slow process. Horses, the foals are going to be the same, obviously. Look at this. We've got bigger goats. Where's our male goat then? Where are you at? Where's the male goat then? What? Young goat male, seven months old. Goat female, seven months old. Right, well, we're checking the menus in a moment. What's going on there? Um, yeah, that's a bit odd. Right, all eggs are coming along nicely. Still a little bit of a slow process, but these guys are producing quite well. It does only show that we've actually got three ducks there. <laughs> the rest ducklings, but obviously the game can't fit them in. Um, oh, oh yeah, the pigs, forgot about the pigs, we've got some porkers now, that's good. Happy days, look at that, awesome. So yeah, we've got some ducklings, 60 of those, two months old, ducks, 60 of those, and then some baby ones, so hopefully when they start all getting a bit grown up, we're going to get eggs coming out quite a lot, which is good. Goats. Yeah, they've turned into adults, but this one's still showing. Okay. Must be a month or two behind then on the male ones. There's our ram and our sheep. That's good. Hopefully they'll start producing wool a little bit more faster for us and the foals. So the daily riding's gone down because we're into new days, so we need to do that at some point but I'll probably do all that off camera because it takes 
you know, not a long time anymore, but we will do that. Right, contracts. I've been thinking I'd like to do a few contracts here and there now because it's about time we saw a bit more of the map. We've done a lot of farm work in our own farm. We have done a few contracts early on. The trouble is, there is a lot of baling. Is it all going to be baling? That's ridiculous. Surely there's some fields. Yeah, there's a few fields ready to harvest. I don't know, maybe they'll come through. We'll keep an eye on that. Be decent enough to see some of the um, rest of the map. So we'll go around, do a few contracts. Might get to keep a little bit of the extra crop. Um, in here, oh yeah, I unloaded the cedar, so we've got a couple of big bags left over. I think that's pretty much it. We do have straw to collect here, weeds growing as well. Now, I did have a good suggestion from Graham about, because I said we're going to end up with a ton of straw. Hopefully we're going to get straw off canola there. We'll be harvesting that field this episode. Um, I said about getting the fermenting silo again. I have used that quite a lot. I've been trying to see if there's another one that will take straw, but I couldn't see any on the mod hub. So if anyone knows of another fermenting silo, just silo, sorry, just to um, try some different things instead of using the same mods, please let me know. But the one I'm talking about, um, I think it is actually under productions. It's part of the Hessian farm pack. I use it quite a lot. So like I say, I'm just wanting to try something a little bit different. It's this guy, very cheap, 15 grand. Will take straw and turn it into silage. So that's quite a good idea because we are going to need a fair bit of silage for TMR, things like that. But I think we're going to need quite a bit of straw as well because of the bedding and when we get cows. But we'll monitor that. I mean, the pigs took, what did they take? I think they took on near on... 100 yeah look they're at 90,000 so they took a hundred thousand liters but saying that we've got a few 50,000 liter bales so there's only two of those isn't it really um but yeah that's where we're at i'm going to quickly run and check this cornfield out um do we have silage now in here yes we have we've got 27 bowels of silage so as you can see there we've got five fifty thousand litre bowels of straw which is insane now another thing i was gonna do because i was working in that field i did the seeding run out of seeds so i had to come all the way back to the farm didn't cut through the horses i went all the way around properly and back in the main entrance then I had to grab the roller, then I had to grab the herbicide sprayer, and I was thinking about cutting a hedge away here. Now it wouldn't let me to any of this row, but I did get the icon come up around here. So I could possibly do something there, and because we're going to leave this as grass all the time, I've not got a problem with driving through there. Um, the only problem would be is if we ended up buying this field and it wasn't grass anymore but we could possibly put a track in this side but that's a possibility just to make things a little bit easier running backwards to the farm for grabbing things look at that i love the way the corn grows on this game Ooh, nice rows look if you look at that angle it's yeah very cool so because we've sprayed herbicide in here look that's a hundred percent it shouldn't come up with weeds growing anymore in fact it would have done because obviously we've skipped through the night and in fact a month so that is a hundred percent all the way so that's pretty good so it's looking like that does actually work that theory we'll tab across to there right now let's actually get on and do some work i think what we'll do first is we will grab the harvester and get that field going i'm going to try and get in there but i don't know if we will what i might do actually is put that on like that let's get rid of that gate oh it's an electric fence as well may just take out this 
hedge. Um, unless we take out some of this. Right, okay. Right, I'll have a think about that. Um, what else was I just going to say? Oh yeah, we've got quite a lot of manure and a fair bit of slurry as well. And obviously when we do get cows, we're going to have even more. Not quite sure what to do with the slurry manure. I mean, we could just build it up and build it up and then spread it over our fields because our fields, most of them aren't really huge. So we might be able to do that. Or if anyone's got any suggestions for some productions where we can put manure and slurry in preferably not a bga something that's going to do something for us um, that will be greatly appreciated because we want to try and further it on if we can right i think i'm going to um, Wow, there we go, let's get rid of that one. We're gonna have to take this one down here. What one have I just taken down there? I don't know what I've taken down there. Right, where's this next one then? Right, so what has that done? Not too bad, we'll leave that little bit of hedge in there. I don't think it looks too stupid, does it? <laughs> let's see how we get on. Just to make it a bit easier to get in and out, I think. Right, we'll unfold our harvester. So now we can do what we did earlier. We'll drop that down there. Question is, are we going to get straw off of this canola? I'm pretty sure you were meant to. It was just the sorghum that surprised me. And that gave us straw. I thought I read somewhere as well with the update they've removed that. So look, you don't get straw now off of sorghum. So we obviously won't be updating. So I'm hoping we still get straw off of that as well. Um, right, let's fire that up. And off we go. Oh, look at that. Happy days. Oh, not so much for the camera angle. More straw, more straw, guys. <laughs> I think what we might do as well, if we do get a fermenting silo, we could grow, uh, probably grab ourselves a loading wagon and just use that for picking up straw for the silo. that'd be pretty good um, in regards to this canola uh, we might keep hold of it we'll see how much we get really or we can just sell it straight away don't think we'll get a huge amount for it we'll check the prices in a second this this seems like a long time ago we put this canola in yeah we had a bit of fun and games trying to get in through that gate so I'm not too fussed about going through there missed a little bit there let's try and grab as much as we can there we go Right, so I'll do a lap round, we'll check the prices and I think I'll get the rest of this done off camera. I'm not going to do a time lapse or anything like that. We did that with that field. And then we can see where we're at, what we're going to go. We could probably get some cows this episode, I don't know, maybe. Now that the silage is ready that was the plan as soon as that was ready i was going to um try and get some
cows ready to feed right canola so bally spring garage yeah not the best time of year to be selling look it's going down as well for the next couple of months 1300 i think we'll probably keep hold of that I don't think the garage is that was that there no I think that's the sh no that's the inn isn't it I think the garage was down here somewhere wasn't it there it is yeah I think we'll keep hold of the canola we can chuck it in our silo not a problem but anyway I'll get this gu ugh, this done guys like I say, a lot of straw again. <laughs> Probably will get a load and wagon at some point. And I'll bring you back in. Probably when we're tipping into our silo, I think. Right, so we've actually only got this little bit left to do. So not even a full harvest to load. So I thought I'd bring you in now. Let's see if we can get away with just tipping this into our silo from the harvester. It might be a bit fun trying to stick the pipe through the doors of the silo, but we'll give it a go. <laughs> just to save getting the tractor trailer out. And there we have it. 7,146 litres of canola. I may make this track in a little bit better a bit later just so it looks more like a proper entrance to a field. Um, we'll put this back on there. So the harvester is not needed for a little while. Oh, um, that wasn't good was it? try and do that a bit better <laughs> terrible isn't it how, the, how I treat my equipment right are we in line there we go I think yeah I think that's okay they definitely don't seem to snap in place anymore do they like they used to Right, can we do this? It probably would just be easier to um, I don't know why I'm trying to do this. Why don't we just get the tractor trailer? That's just me being stubborn now, isn't it? Oh, we're not even through the doors, are we? Right, that's ridiculous. Let's just... I don't know why I bother these days sometimes with this. Um, I don't think we'll be able to hook up the trailer with that, will we? That's going to be a pin hitch, but stranger things have happened. No, that's not going to happen, is it? Right, let's get to the tractor. <laughs> Do these things properly. There we go. Just seems a bit silly for such a small amount, but there we go. Um, let's get that pipe back out. Oh, where are we going? Well, that's better. A lot more easier, wasn't it? I think we'll get this harvester put away. Probably could do with a bit of a clean, but I can do that again a bit later. The jet wash should reach round where it's parked. So it's not a job that's desperately needed.
Right, there we go. Okay. Now let's get things done properly. So, can we squeeze that back in there? Oh, I've spilled a bit of straw on the floor there. Okay, doesn't matter. That would do. I think there's some straw there as well. Yeah, it must be leaking. Might have to get that checked out down the old garage. Right. Let's put this in the silo the proper way. We'll go around the back. There we go. Job done. Right, we will stop that there. Now, the only thing with the telehandler I think I'm gonna buy a normal bell spike this will be great for picking the bells up off the field and we can then put them onto our trailer but for loading up the feed mixer it's not going to be that good I don't think because if we get a normal bell spike we can kind of dangle the bell into the feed mixer so that it takes some of it away so I think what we'll do and I will go up to the store and grab this. Um, telehandler tools. Bell fork. I was thinking about getting the big bag handler. But I don't think I'll do that again. Because I use that quite a lot. Um, we've got these reclining tips. I'm not too fussed about that. I think we'll just go for the base game one buy that it's only 900 so i will go to the store i'll grab that bring it back in i think we'll probably get ourselves ready for a bit of tmr mixing i think okay yeah so i'll see you in a bit guys right oh we're back let's hook up to our mixing wagon um, I'm going to turn on a couple of things here because I'm not used to this and I'm also going to do that so that I can see where the trigger is over there right now another thing I was warned about on this map is you can't get away with making TMR with just silage and hay I'm going to try it to start with but I'm um, if that's the case we'll have to go through the whole process so again gonna probably use in a bit of straw right um, open cover Ooh. unfold mixer do we have to unfold that I guess we do turn it on We'll leave that running. Right, so let's grab just for now a hay bale, just one. How much does our thing hold? 22,800. It's a bit of an odd number, that. Silage. Um, why does that say 25 of 7? Have we still got one fermenting? It's a bit weird. Why does it say that? Never mind. Um, silage. We just want one again. I'm gonna open that up. Right. So. Um, let's see what happens, shall we? If that is the case, it's going to be a little bit annoying because that means we're going to have to start paying attention and working things out. So, we'll dump all of this in, I think. We know that that's going to take that. Is it mixing it all up? 
yeah, it's doing it now, bottom right. That should then, there we go. So we've got 7,500 litres of silage. Let's grab our hay bale. Um, this is going to be 10,000 litres. Okay. Maybe I should have put this in first because, to be fair, I'd rather use more hay than silage if that's the case because it's a little bit easier to produce, isn't it, than the silage. We've got to wait for that to ferment. Right, so technically that would normally be TMR. That, I don't think that's the TMR. The best way to work that out is to go into here. I'm sure that's the forage. Yeah. Right, so that is correct then. We do need to, oh no, so we're gonna have to put mineral feed in. Thing is, that's such a small bar for the mineral feed. I'm literally gonna I think we can get mineral feed from here. Literally, just gonna have to stop it straight away. I think. Right, so we've gone over slightly, but we should be able to get that back. We're at 61 percent. Um. Much is left in this hay bale. Let's drop a bit more of that in. Okay, that brings that back in. That's still nope, so we are going to need straw. Okay, let's just put that to one side. Let's grab. This is certainly going to be a longer process than I'd hoped. But these things are there to test us, aren't they? So we'll grab um, just as we don't want 50,000 litres. We'll grab just one of those. Whoa, that's a spike in the face. Brilliant. So let's grab this. Again, try and use as much straw as we can because there we go. We've got the um... the good thing is we can just lift it straight back up. Then, so by rights, that should be TMR. There we go. The symbols change we're at 91 percent i wonder if we can get away with just now yeah, why is that yeah i think we'll be all right with that i think that's full let's just double check that is full. Happy days. Right, what we'll do is we'll pop them down there for a moment. And we will... I think what we'll do is we'll leave it in this feed mixer. Let's go and grab... Let's sort some cows out. So we had foals last episode, we're going to go for some cows. And like I've said for a few episodes here and there, we are going to go with adult cows because it's going to take forever for the baby ones to get going. Right, so animals, this is exciting. We are finally moving forward. That is such a lame joke. We're going to go for this. This is the Bally Spring one. It will hold 500 cows. And I was thinking 
Right, we've got slurry that end. I think the milk's down that end with the dialogue box feed and straw in the middle there. I was thinking somewhere here, so we should be able to still get in and around to collect things. That all looks pretty good to me. Right, let's buy some cows. So, we want to be producing milk. That's the main thing. We'll get ourselves a bull because I know I don't think we probably need to, but we are because that's the aim of the series. We're going to try out all the new sort of animals. We won't be trying the, unless I change my mind later, but the Angus ones are going to be for your beef. So not too worried about them, but basically it's the same, you know, stages of the animal itself. So we will be seeing all of them anyway. So we're going to grab a ball, 865, because we're... Oh, there he is. Looks upset and sad. We're going to get you some friends, so to speak. <laughs> so we'll grab... So hopefully we will eventually get some calves. Then they go into heifers. Then they become cows. But we're going to go straight away with some cows. I think for now we'll just go 60 because wow that's going to cost us 117 grand so not cheap but while we've got the money we should do that um okay now if we go to here there they are so milk they do need straw we know that that's obvious oh now one thing i believe if we do or not if when we eventually do get calves it's got milk there 100 percent. so we'll need to put some milk in there whether it comes from their mother and father <laughs> or whether we can get that from the goats it doesn't matter i don't think we'll see what happens when it comes nearer to the time when we get some calves now, the only thing I've just thought of is a manure heap. Um, we, well, we can place one of those down in a second. Let's get this feed going. I don't think this is going to go very far, is it? So, the chute is that way. So, I'm completely messing this up, as usual. Is that going to fit under there? It will. Um, there's the trigger. loads pretty slow not the fastest so that is going in wow that's going to take quite a bit now what i can do is do some more mixing off camera because obviously you've just seen that it's quite fiddly it's going to take a little bit of a while so i can mix up i'll probably mix up as much as we can yeah because i think it will be a little while before we get calves so even if we max out the feed bar it will have gone down by the time the calves arrive i mean we could always um we could always what am i trying to say let's turn that off a minute and fold that we could always move the calves to another pen when they are born and then raise them like that because they're probably going to require milk for some time now the only other thing i want to try let's skip over to here is we'll leave that straw bell there because there's not a lot in there let's grab some 50,000 litre bad boys we'll go with two so that give us whoa 100,000 litres I don't know whether this pen will let us put the bells in but you know it will accept bells the 
uh, pigsty did, didn't it? So I'm hoping this will, as you can see, 50,000 litres of straw there, which is madness. Might have been able to grab two there, I don't know, but we'll just do one for now. So, straw's got to be in there, isn't it, really? Oh. Is that doing anything? That's not doing anything. Um, okay. Well, I would have thought it would be along here. That's not doing anything either. Right, we'll probably have to get a straw blower then. I would imagine it would take loose, obviously, but um, hmm. Now I'm wondering whether we should just buy a loading wagon, but I'll tell you what we'll do for now. Let's just lease a straw blower. Um, don't think I've got any others downloaded. So it'll have to be one of these base game ones. Um, I've used this. See, this is that says two bells, but I, we're not going to get two of ours in there. I know this one's more than likely for square bells, but I think if we lease that, we're going to be able to dump a couple of those big bells in there. So 1,861, I think that was. What we'll do is... I'll go and grab that again with the tractor and I'll bring you back in and we'll hopefully be able to blow some straw in there and we'll see how we get on with that so again I will see you very shortly I'm going to go and get that other bow as well I think that should be enough straw for them I would have thought wouldn't it right so we have this bad boy here I'm hoping we can squeeze two of these bells in like so I don't know if the other one's going to fit in hopefully And then we'll see how we get on. Replace a manure pit down somewhere. And we will. Right, that's pretty good. So we should have. Let's fold that back. Put this down a bit safely. Should have a hundred thousand liters of straw. Now it's only registering one there, so that's not a problem. But when the other one disappears, it should kick in the next one. Right, please work. Awesome, there we go. Oh, that's already... Sorry cows about that, it's um, spraying in your face, I know, but uh, you have a nice bit of bedding. Wow, that's... I think that's going to take quite a lot of straw. But again, that's something I could probably do off camera. Right, let's try and find ourselves a manure pit that's going to fit. I'm thinking maybe we, we might be able to get one to tuck into this corner. Um, I want one that is going to hold 
quite a bit so we could still back in there and get the slurry out 220,000 I don't know if that's going to be enough because it could be a case of just leaving it is that all I've got? surely I thought I had more oh there we go there's a Bally Spring one Okay, this is a bit worrying. I thought I had some other ones. I know I did go through my mods the other day and got rid of a few, but I knew a heap. Oh, five million. Wow. That. There we go. This is what I'm thinking. Oh, that's quite big actually, isn't it? did that it's going to restrict us a little bit isn't it for getting in and out of the slurry wow they're quite big actually aren't they right what else have we got anything else yeah um that's too big they're not big enough so I do have some in here. Oh wow. I think it's going to be that one we've just looked at. I need to get the right placement for it though. Um, what's the difference between that and that? That triggers there. What about that? I think we'd still be able to back in and around there. Ten grand. Um, I'll probably sort out the texture on that as well because I don't really want it grass like that. So hopefully that will work. Oh, look at that. Oh no. That's one bell down. How's that? Oh my goodness. That bar hasn't even moved. Wow, how much do these take? Okay, well I think what we'll do is get out of that noisy tractor. I think what I'll do is I'll use up all of those 50,000 litre bells. Hopefully that will do something. We'll put them all into the cows. Hopefully they don't use too much. And I'm also going to get quite a bit of TMR mixed up off camera, I think, and then feed them because I'm worried. If we skip through the night, that is not going to be enough, even for just 60 cows. But I think we'll leave it there for that episode, guys. So we've got another animal on the farm. We've got cows. Yes, they are adults, but we will see some calves hopefully very soon. And like I say, we could possibly move them to another pen. We do still have quite a bit of room here. But um, I need to make sure I've got enough room to manoeuvre around like so. Oh, I also need to ride the horses, don't I? That's another thing to do. Another job to do. But there we go, guys. Um, please, if you can, remember to suggest any other fermenting silos that will take straw. That would be awesome. But now I'm starting to think we are going to need our straw. And also any productions where we could probably do something a bit different with the slurry and manure so hope you have enjoyed the episode guys if you have give us a thumbs up if you're new to the channel please consider subscribing that'd be fantastic and don't forget to smash that bell so you don't miss any future videos of mine i've been farm sim snowy stay frosty